Hey everybody, David Lemon here. I just wanted to let you know that we had an update for GrooveCart. There is a couple of updates from April and also a couple of updates from May. So let me just show you around and tell you what has been added. The first thing is that we added on a nice little admin bar into the preview of the live version of the site. So you need to make sure that you are on the subdomain, the, the GrooveCart.com subdomain, and then you can preview your store and have an an admin dashboard bar over here on the top so that will allow you when you go into a product to see or when you hover over a product to see an edit button and also when you actually preview the product you will see edit layout option to modify the page so that you can immediately go in and edit this layout page or in case you want you can also edit the product from the actual button. You'll need to just confirm that you're not a robot and then this will drop you into the product settings in the GrooveCart backend dashboard, okay? So this is an addition so that you can much faster edit your pages just by browsing around on the subdomain of your store. We also added a script for the deleting of unused stores from 2018 and 2019 without any content. The store's history is visible on the My Stores page whenever you are in your dashboard and you go to GrooveCart over here, then you scroll down and you can see the store's history has been added. So these are the reasons that the stores were deleted and in case your store was deleted then it will say uh, the reason over here why and also the date and time. If we're talking about products, we did a nice little update for the products. Whenever you're adding a product, you can now have a number and a hashtag added to the product name. As you can see here, this girl looks, loves to groove tank dark and I added on a hashtag with a number on here so that we now have the actual uh, hashtag is marking the numbers of the, the products. This has been requested by quite a few users and now just adding a nice little hashtag you can have that display in the product name. A couple of weeks ago we added on the option for a cash on delivery as the payment option. So in case you are heading over to your settings and you choose the payment gateways option, here you have the selection of the different payment gateways. The free accounts will have a couple over here, but the paid accounts will have all of these and also cash on deliver is the new option. If you click on this cogwheel, you can manage the button text. So whenever somebody is offered the option for payment, the cash and delivery is a default text, but you can also change it for yourself. And also the description of this payment option, uh, you can change yourself so that it matches your brand. So these were the additions. Let me just explain to you what the new improvements are. So in case we head over back to this screen, we also change the create a new store button so that it matches the actual brand of Groove. It was previously a blue button, now it is a nice little pink button and all the buttons that you see here are improved as well to match the Groove brand. We also moved the deleting of stores from this little three dots so we don't have the deletion of stores anymore on these three dots but we moved it into the store information in the settings tab so in case you click store information you'll see a couple of different tabs on the top here and one of this is disable my store and the last one is deleting of the store so in case you would like to delete your store you need to type in manually delete my store and then this will allow you to actually click on delete store button. Very often people were deleting their stores without any confirmation and this will make sure that that doesn't happen by mistake. If we move back to the home button over here, the home screen displays the actual wizard over here. We added on a couple of different buttons for collapsing this wizard. So you have two screens which both collapse and you have these two options for collapsing which do the same thing. We also added on a nice little X option or the actual close option in case you, are, you don't want to see this wizard anymore but you want to have the analytics view over here. You can then click that X mark or the actual close button to close the wizard in order to see the analytics. In case you would like to bring back the wizard you can just clear your cookies simply by going inspect 
clicking the clicking and holding the re reload button empty cache and hard reload and that will bring back the wizard so that you can see it on the page moving back to the builder we have added on a couple of improvements for the builder as well one of the first ones is when somebody wants to go and modify the thank you page with variables for different affiliate tracking we have added on a nice little help over here that we have JavaScript variables for the total cart value over here and the order number value so these are the the codes that are normally used in platforms like affiliately and OZ tracker and those those platforms require an embed code with these variables you can actually activate the total cut value and order number so that the affiliate processing and affiliate tracking works beautifully with GrooveCard. We also added on the product review element so in case we head over to the product page and we open up a product page with the review element on here in the settings of the product review element we added on an option for you to manage the number of reviews you would like to show before the before the load more reviews button shows up so at this moment if we save the number of reviews to show to 10 and if we head over and preview that page let me just open it up quickly if you head over to a live version of the page and if you have a lot of reviews you'll be able to manage how many reviews you have and there will be a one more button showing up which will say load more reviews and if somebody clicks that then more reviews will be loaded so in case you decided that the reviews you want to have is five for example five reviews to show on here the five more reviews will show after somebody clicks the load more reviews we also changed the options for the SEO so in case you have some SEO settings on the home page for example and you want to add uh, some SEO title we removed that there is a store name added automatically into the title of the of the page so at this moment if you manage this actual title this is what is going to show it it was it will not be adding in automatically a store name or here at the aim we also improved some of our apps for example the printful import we we improved the printful import so when you are importing your products variations uh, and the product variation have some strange names GrooveCard didn't know what to do with those so we improved that one as well so whenever you're importing printful products the product names will not be an issue anymore also stripes strong customer authentication has been updated and some of our users were receiving messages from stripe that the sca ready payments will be the non sca ready payments will be declined we just made sure that everything is correct and now groovecart uses a strong customer authentication in the transaction so there is no need to worry whenever some messages come up we improved the Clavio app as well, and now it has the ability to, pro uh, to track product data as well. Previously, it was not having the options so that you can do marketing with the product data in there, but now we added that on. Authorize.net integration was also improved in the payment gateway section. We now updated it, updated it to the newest version, so any of the changes that came to, to Authorize.net are now available in the actual groove cart platform we also updated the international settings for countries and states whenever you would like to use some countries and states we only had a certain amount of states loaded up into the builder over here but at this moment with a new version every new store will have all the states and all the countries loaded in and the older stores that don't have all the countries and all the states in you can request this access with the support team so head over to support of Groove Digital which is support.groovedigital.com and you can contact our support team for the states and countries to be added to the stores that were built previously again every new store will have that automatically added 
We also improved the invoices. So at this moment, it's automatically receiving and accepting Chinese characters as well. It will add on the phone number and logo onto the invoice and some other uh, changes like the address is going to the, uh, to the footer of your invoice and things like that. But it's much better, much nicer now with the newer improvements. We have also updated and improved the speed of the loading of checkout pages. We had some issues where uh, PayPal and Stripe and uh, different shipping methods were extending and prolonging the, the speed of the checkout pages. So the visitors were waiting uh, longer than needed. We now improved it by managing the, the integrations and the payment gateways that were causing those delays. And moving back to our builder, we also improved the flow of our one page checkouts. So in case you go to the checkout pages and you click over to this checkout form element, in the settings you have the options if you would like to have a one page checkout or multi page checkout. The problem with a one page checkout was that sometimes users were moving on without filling out the information that is necessary for an order to be created. Now the new flow is that the necessary information needs to be filled out first and then the rest of the information will show up in here so that the users can purchase when the one page system is turned on. We also had various fixes for GrooveCart. I will just mention some. It is going to be uh, mentioned on the list that you can see below this video. So all of the, the fixes are mentioned on the list, but for now, I'm just going to mention some of them. We had some uh, issues with the test. When you activate the test in the payment gateway setup, you can activate a test mode on here. And when Previously, we enabled the test mode. There was no feedback that immediately the test mode has been activated. So people were clicking multiple times. At this moment, after one click, it enables and you can immediately see in the header of the GrooveCart store that the test payments are enabled. We also had some issues with the checkout embedded checkout forms where you had different variations of the product and the, and the variations have different prices. Those prices were not updated when a different uh, price and variation was clicked. We also had different uh, issues with duplicating product images. The product images weren't duplicated properly. Now we manage that inside the product settings on here. We also have some issues with the footer. When you actually selected the footer inside the builder and you went in to, to edit the footer and you after editing the footer, just clicked on a different page, the changes of the of the footer were deleted and the styling was applied to the different page as well, which was causing errors and inconsistencies on pages and now that was fixed as well. We also had some uh, issues with loading of the images on Android devices. Now we added on lazy loading and it is um, very, very clear when a person is previewing the actual product on the product page whenever the image is selected then it will load and it will be very very fluent previously it was kind of uh, giving uh, some errors we also had some issues with the with a product we also had some issues with the button animation when you wanted to add on a button animation on here it was not possible We also have issues. There were also some errors with the button. So when you added on just a normal button on the on the page and you wanted to add some animation to it, the animations were not showing up properly. So at this moment, if you head over to the settings and do animations, animations can be set up. And also you can select a no animation in order to take it off. Previously, the, the animations were staying on there and you couldn't take it off. There was a strange bug when we wanted to edit the float cart. This is the the checkout cart that, sh that slides in from the side of the screen when somebody adds something to the checkout cart when users were adding in a progress bar uh, which is over here scarcity settings and uh, countdown line 
when it was added to the actual float card it was breaking the pages that the float card showed up on so now that has been fixed as well and it is not happening anymore moving back to the normal pages for example on the home page we had some styling and aligning actually issues of the images so whenever you selected an image and the alignment options were not working properly in case this is still happening on your account just make sure you delete the image and bring it back from the elements tab that has been fixed but it may not be refreshed on some of your your stores most of the time it's the older stores that will still see some alignment uh, problems whenever you set up something it will not be working but then please add your images again from the elements tab and then it should be working fine we also had some issues with the shopify migration in case you use the shopify tool for migration which is available here in the in the apps app manager and then you choose the Shopify migration app, which is one of the first ones over here. It was previously having some issues with importing the images from the from the Shopify store. Now that has been fixed and all of the images are imported nicely. If you still have some images that are broken within your products, you can just run the Shopify migration tool again and it will import all of the images nicely from your Shopify stores. So ladies and gentlemen, this is approximately it. There's a, quite a few more fixes, but I mentioned the major ones. We have added to GrooveCart. Just make sure you log into your GrooveCart account, uh, browse around and play with the new different settings that we added. I'm 100% you're going. So that's approximately it, ladies and gentlemen. We have added a lot of additions, improvements and fixes to GrooveCart. I'm 100% sure that you're going to like these changes. In case you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us or the support team and happy. So ladies and gentlemen, this is approximately it for the GrooveCart updates for April and May. We have added some things, improved some things and fixed some things. In case you still have any questions, feel free to reach out to us on our Facebook group or directly to our support team and we'll be able to assist you with your further questions.